JustAZ.com Productions with JustAZ Hydroponics, Aquaponics Project Part 2, How to Line a Grow Bed. Hi, we are now ready to put our pond liner in our grow box. For a pond liner, we went to our local home improvement store and bought 14.5 millimeter PVC pond liner. Uh, this is outdoor. UV protected, should last a good long time. Before we put our pond liner in, we drilled a couple holes in the bottom of the box. This one here is going to be for our bell siphon, and we built, drilled another one over here, which we are going to put a weep hole in. Cut the liner to a size approximate to the length, width, and depth of the grow bed. Use painter's tape along one side to secure the liner to the grow bed, tucking the liner in so it sits smoothly along the bottom and up the sides. Outline the bottom edge of the bed using a piece of chalk. The outline acts as a guide later on when the liner is pulled back into place. Flip the liner out of the bed. Using a non-toxic glue, spread the glue over the bottom of the bed. Smooth it out with an old paintbrush, making sure there are no lumps or blobs. Make sure the glue is non-toxic, even though the grow medium, plants, and fish wouldn't be exposed to the glue, it's best to use a non-toxic product for this aquaponics project. Pull the liner back into place using the chalk lines as guides to reposition the liner in the grow bed. Smooth out the liner along the bottom. Tape the sides and use books as weights to keep the liner in place while the glue dries. With the bottom dry, glue the sides starting with the long side. Pull the side of the liner downward and glue the bed just as you did with the bottom. Pull the liner up and smooth it out, tucking in the corners. Clamp lengths of scrap wood to the side of the bed to hold the liner in place and repeat the process for the other side. To glue down the short sides, notch the corner of the liner to match the corner of the bed. Clamp pieces of wood to each side to keep the liner in place. You may need to cut away some material and fold down the liner to get a snug fit. With the liner in place, glue it down. Clamp a piece of wood along the top and repeat the process for the other side. When the glue is dried, remove the clamps and wood and make any necessary adjustments to the liner so it fits snugly along the edge and in the corners. Use a staple gun to secure the liner along the top edge of the bed. Make sure you staple as close to the top as possible so the nutrient wrench rich fish water doesn't come in contact with the staples. After stapling, cut away the excess liner to create a smooth edge along the top of the grow bed, making sure you cut above the staple line. Finish stapling and cutting the liner to complete this part of the project. With the liner secured, the final step for this grow bed is to install the bulkheads into the holes for the bell siphon and weep hole. A bulkhead has three pieces. The washer, the main piece, and retaining nut. Find where to cut the liner 
by poking a small piece of wood or pencil through the hole at the bottom of the bed so you can see where the hole is located. Then carefully cut away the liner using a utility knife. Insert the main piece with the rubber washer into the hole and then from the other side secure it into place with the retaining nut. Repeat the same process for the other hole and the grow bed is ready for installation into the aquaponics system. Thanks for watching.